Hi everyone, it's me. <laughs> So I know that from my intro that you just watched, I seem to be in a pretty cheery, chipper mood right now, right? And maybe I am, you know, I'm not particularly stressed or upset about anything right now, but I must inform you that that time of the month has arrived again. So I am feeling all sorts of a wonky inside there. And if you're female, you might also relate to this, but during that time of the month, I find it a little harder than usual to find my motivation to get my butt up and get moving. And you know what? If you're feeling 100% like crap and you just need a rest, just rest it out. Rest it out for a day or two. You'll come back stronger than ever, I promise. But for this week in particular, I thought it would be a good opportunity to try and find some motivating workouts on YouTube that just make me feel good. So I have done a little bit of research and I've found five different YouTube online workouts that claim to be either motivational or inspirational or will make you feel better in their like workout title names. You know what I mean? So I have just decided to make my way through that list this week. I will give each one an intensity score as well as a motivational score this time. And we'll see if we can find the most motivating workout out there. <laughs> and without further ado, let's get started with the first one. Okay, so this first one we are starting with is from the one and only Pamela Wright. You guys all know I am definitely a Pam fam. Pam fam? I meant to say Pam fan. <laughs> I guess Pam fam kind of works. Maybe that's what she should call all her followers. Pam fam. <laughs> Pam, if you ever watch this video, there is an idea for you. <laughs> so the workout I'm trying in particular today is her 10 minute get motivated workout. Slash fun routine to get your booty off the sofa. So yeah, it's a 10 minute long workout, nice and short, sweet and simple. Let's give this one a try. So just to talk about that one first, it was a 10 minute workout. Most of it was like low impact, low cardio type exercises. And then she went into kind of like a mini core section for the last few minutes. And I'm just gonna get straight to my thoughts on this one. First of all, I wanna preface all of this by saying I love Pam, I love her energy, I love what she's doing. And most of her workouts I am a big fan of, but I think this one was just a slight miss for me personally. A lot of the exercises in the first half of this video, I guess you could kind of classify them as like dance cardio moves but I did notice that a lot of them didn't go with the music like the tempo of the music and the exercise did not match each other and like Pam also was not doing them to the music and I feel like if you're doing that kind of like dance cardio move you really have to pair it with music because that's what's gonna like get you hyped like that's what's gonna get you excited and I know that her more recent like happy cardio workouts do have the moves paired to the music so I feel like this is definitely just like an old video of hers and she's definitely improved a lot since this one. So yeah, that being said, for intensity, I'm gonna give this one a six. I feel like most of this workout actually might have been a four intensity, but the core section at the end was a little more intense. I feel like that kind of upped the intensity a little bit on this workout. For motivation score, I'm gonna have to give this one a four. I kind of feel slightly less motivated now than I started with, like a little bit less energy. So it definitely kind of did the opposite effect to me. It does feel kind of sad for me to give Pam like not a really great score because I do love Pam and like most of her workouts I love. There didn't really seem to be anything throughout this workout that like led to getting you motivated. I feel like this workout maybe should have been called lazy day workout or something. Like this video could be a way to just get you moving a little bit if you're feeling sluggish or just kind of want to move slowly but it's definitely not motivating I would say. Anyways that is it for this first one. I will see you tomorrow when we try another motivating workout. Ugh. So today is the infamous day two of my period and I'm just not having a good time I'm like so extremely bloated cramps are insane today I feel like a little nauseous even but I find that even just moving my body like a tiny little bit is useful So I'm gonna try and do one of these quick motivating workouts next on my little list is a video from pop sugar This one is called 10 minute feel good cardio workout and meditation to say goodbye to stress I've put on my high everyone 
find it's me shirt today just to kind of like boost myself up because I absolutely love this shirt and when I put it on I get like the Jamie energy you know <laughs> but yeah let's get our body moving for just 10 minutes and we'll see how we feel I always find testing pop sugar workouts really interesting because they just have a huge roster of different trainers So I'm pretty sure that every single pop sugar workout I have tried in my lifetime has been from a different instructor Like I have not repeated a single pop sugar instructor ever and I have tried quite a few pop sugar workouts So the trainer in this one was Deja Riley, which I kind of actually recognize her name from the dance world So that's pretty funny and kind of cool that she's a pop sugar trainer now So this workout in total it was advertised as a 10 minute workout but just the cardio section itself was 10 minutes long with the warm-up and cool down I think that added another like three or four minutes and then there was like a two minute meditation at the end so my Apple watch was actually running for 16 minutes during this workout today I did opt in to most of the low impact options I did maybe a few of the high impact exercises but yeah just feeling my body today I'm definitely in need for more low impact so for intensity I would give this workout maybe a seven because I did a mishmash of low impact and high impact that's kind of where I sat at today and then for my motivational score to be honest I'm feeling kind of let down at this moment in time I don't know what I'm expecting exactly but I really wanted these workouts to really focus on like uplifting your soul and your energy and stuff and this workout today just seemed kind of like a regular mixed cardio workout there wasn't really an emphasis on like motivation or feeling good or getting rid of stress other than like the super short meditation meditation at the end but yeah I feel like this one didn't really do it for me either I mean it was a decent workout I don't think the workout was bad at all but yeah I'm just not getting that like motivation focus from these workouts like that mindset shift so I'm gonna give motivation level on this workout a seven I feel like there definitely was a little effort with the meditation at the end there but yeah I just feel like it could have been incorporated throughout the entire workout better I really really hope we find some actual real real motivating workouts this week so I will see you when I try another one Hi friends, it is a new day. Still feeling slightly low with the motivation, so it's definitely another good day to try some motivating workouts. The one I'm about to try right now is from Lucy Wyndham Reed. I have never tried her channel before, so I'm excited to see what she has in store for us. This workout is called 7 Minute Feel Good Workout at Home. So let's see if it really does. Okay, so that was a dang cute little concept there. So what Lucy did in this video is she like cropped herself out and then added various backgrounds that switched every time we switched exercises. So these backgrounds included things like big fields, like mountains, rivers, like just kind of like pleasant fields and meadows and that kind of thing. There was also this like little bunny that would appear in the corner of the screen for some parts of the video. So that was kind of funny and cute. And the whole focus of this video is just to kind of like enjoy yourself go on this virtual adventure with her through all these fields and meadows and stuff so I thought that was a pretty cute idea I feel like it could have maybe been executed a bit better technically like it did look a little wonky it did look a little glitchy at points like the bunny was kind of laggy and weird in its movements but I do appreciate this idea so I really enjoyed that and it gave me a good laugh and a smile as you can see I'm just like smiling now in terms of the exercises and the workout itself I would not call this an intense workout by no means I feel like this workout is definitely more focused towards boosting your like energy and your mind which is actually something I was looking for this week so I do really appreciate that effort but to give you my ratings for this one for intensity I'm gonna have to give it a three to be completely honest it was quite a low energy workout a lot of it was just like walking very peacefully very calmly there was no focus on like picking up your pace or like exerting your energy to the max or anything like that it was kind of like a leisurely stroll in a garden I would 
would say. <laughs> and for motivation score, I'm gonna give this one a 7.5. I appreciate the effort. I really like the whole idea of this workout, but yeah, I feel like it could have been executed better. I will say though that this video has now motivated me to try another motivating workout. So I am gonna try another one today. I'm going to try the next one on my list, which is Tegan Dixon's Lazy Day Workout. And in the title of this video, she puts in brackets, you'll feel better after this. So yeah, without further ado, I'm excited to try this one. Let's go. Okay, so this workout was 15 minutes long. I did not mention that at the beginning, but yeah, it's a 15 minute long workout. This one was pretty full body, I would say. I did enjoy it. There's no talking or anything, and the structure was 45 seconds on with 15 second breaks in between. I feel like it was okay. It definitely is a lazy day workout. Like the intensity is not high at all, very similar to all the other ones I've tried so far this week. So yes, this one is definitely good for a lazy day or a low energy day. I feel like this one was similar to a Pam's workout that I tried on the first day in terms of the feel of the video. Like it's very much a lazy day workout, but there's nothing in particular about the workout that specifically focuses on getting you motivated. It just seems like a good way to get your body moving on a lazy day, which to be fair, this one doesn't even have the word motivation or anything in the title. It's just called lazy day workout. So yeah, no complaints about this one. I did enjoy it, but again, similar to Pam's, there was no like real focus on motivation itself. So for intensity, I'm gonna give this one a seven. And then for my motivation, score, I'm gonna give this one a five. I think I'm gonna leave this here for today. I do have a big one to try tomorrow that I am actually really excited to try. So I will see you tomorrow when the time comes. Okay, you guys, it is time for the finale of this video. Today, I will be trying the last workout on my list for a motivational workout. And let me tell you, I am actually really excited to try this one. So I have saved the longest workout of my list for today. And this one is actually a 60 minute workout. So it's a full hour long. And this video is by The Studio with Jamie Kinkiade. She is such a freaking lovely soul. I have been able to connect with her a little bit online, on social media and that sort of thing, and have just discovered her to be the most absolute, genuine, pure, loving human. And she actually did recommend this workout for me to try. So yeah, I am absolutely excited to try this one. It is called a 60 minute whole body inspirational at home workout. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into this one hour long inspirational workout and see how it is. Wow. So this is the feeling I have been waiting for this entire week. This feeling, this, ugh. I feel so dang refreshed. I feel so dang inspired. I feel so dang motivated. Wow. <laughs> so you know that feeling you get? Okay, so I know that most of you have done a Sydney Cummings workout. And you know that feeling you get at the end of a Sydney workout while you're cooling down and listening to her motivational speech? In this workout by Jamie in the studio, it was a full on workout with those motivational speeches sprinkled in throughout the entire workout. Like while you're working out, you're hearing these beautiful, beautiful inspirational words. You're listening to these beautiful inspirational songs. And a lot of the songs even had spoken word components to them and there was motivational speech like just throughout the entire workout and you're working hard and you're listening to the speech and like wow <laughs> so I'm not too familiar with Jamie's programs, but this workout is specifically part of her Ignition workout series. This Ignition workout series is targeted towards mental strength. You know, obviously you're also getting a really good workout, but the focus is not like working out for physical purposes. There's no inherent focus on sculpting your muscles or toning or losing weight or gaining weight. It's just about working out. It's about overcoming the obstacles in your mind. It's about pushing yourself mentally. It's about loving yourself. To give you more of a concrete description of what this workout is, I guess, there was a warm up and then there were just sprinklings of cardio bits, dancing bits, kickboxing bits a little bit, strength bits. I did have to bring back my wine bottle weights because a lot of the weight work was very low weight and extremely high reps. 
so my eight pound dumbbells were just too much for me to handle that. So yeah, my old wine bottles are making an appearance again. Don't worry, we did not forget about them. <laughs> if you're an OG on this channel, you know. <laughs> for my ratings, I'm gonna give intensity on this one an 8.5 and then you know my motivation factor for this one has got to be a 10. Definitely one of the most inspiring workouts I've ever done, one of the most motivating workouts I've done and you have to try this one. And yeah, that brings me to the end of this video. I am so happy I have found this workout. I feel so good. Definitely recommend it. But yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a like and a comment. If you don't know what to comment down below, let me know what motivates you, whether it's a really good workout or a rest day or a hobby. If you can't think of something motivating right now, just give me a bunch of those like, oh, like those praise hands. If you like me, subscribe, do that bell thing, and I will see you in the next one.